Hey guys, Cyber Aquarius here, bringing you all a long, long overdue video. Really don't have any excuses. Um, just know that I'm always going to be in the hobby, as I've mentioned before. I mean, it may be a year before I make a video sometimes, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm still here. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to bring you, you guys up to speed on the reef tank. The 38 gallon innovative marine. It's been set up now for uh, probably about 13 months and everything's going well. Um, everything's fantastic with this tank. Couldn't be more pleased. This is one of the easiest aquariums I've ever had to maintain. Now I have had some, uh, some bumps along the way. I lost Bro, which was my uh, yellow uh, watchman goby. He actually jumped out of the aquarium, I uh, made the screen lid, and came home from work one night and he was laying on the floor, dried up, and I lost my possum wrasse. I don't know what happened to him, he just disappeared. And I, uh, my Bangai Cardinal, I got rid of him, and I still have the two Ocellaris Clownfish, and now I have a six line wrasse. The corals are doing exceptionally well, growing like crazy. Um, some of the some of the growth is phenomenal. Uh, others, a little, little more slow growing. The green star polyps are going crazy. They're growing up the glass. Uh, my trumpet coral over on the right, it started out as four heads. Now there's 17 heads over there. Coralline algae has exploded. Uh, the MP10 is completely covered. It's just purple all the way. Um, now I did have to update my uh, cleaners because I lost some along the way, you know, due to just age and some of uh, some of the smaller snails got stuck in the rock. And I've actually taken out one of the hermit crabs. Uh, he's in the back of the sump right now, awaiting to uh, go back to the fish store tomorrow. He was getting rather large, and I placed an order with uh, reefcleaners.org, and I got in um, their kit for the or their package for the 30, 37 gallon cube came yesterday so I updated you know just kind of revamped my cleaners uh, I got a bubble coral down there in the bottom he's actually going to go in a different spot once he becomes acclimated to the light and I'm still using the max spec razor uh, still not turned up to 100% I've got it at 75% at 10 50% daylight and that's all that I need. Uh, the Christmas tree, Favia coral there in the center, it started out as seven heads and now there's 17 heads on it. It's uh, actually it's actually 15, but two of the heads are starting to split. Um, my toadstool coral, I took it out, it was getting too large. And he's actually left behind some, uh, some babies where his foot was attached see right there and like I said this is the trumpet coral that's just exploded started out as four heads uh, here's my red and with green center trumpet coral got it from aquacorals.com and it was two heads now it's four my meteor shower sapastria here you can see that it you can see the original frag plug if you guys will look back on some of my videos you'll see how small it was but it's totally encrusting this rock like I said the green star polyps are going crazy um, nitrates and phosphates are still at zero parts per million and I only do a water change around once every four to six weeks approximately a 14 to 15 percent and guys let me know what you all would like to uh, see in a video coming up you know if you guys have any questions I thought about talking about dosing uh, now I do test I use uh, the the uh, Red Sea uh, test kit and I test maybe once a week sometimes every other week and if you guys just want to talk about dosing I have some tips on that what you need to do um, now another thing I want to mention I did have a slight uh, bubble algae problem I got lazy and I bought a coral from uh, the fish store in Atlanta. Brought it home, I didn't dip it, and this is what I dip with guys, the 
uh, Coral RX. Every time I bring a coral home, I dip them. And I got lazy that day and I didn't do it, so I had a slight uh, bubble algae problem. I'm still battling that with some uh, emerald crabs. Got three of them in there, they're cleaning it up. But all in all, there's no hair algae, never had a cyano outbreak. Nitrates and phosphates are zero. Guys, uh, just, just let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd want to know. The African tank is still up and going, doing, doing really well. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. Just leave your comments below and uh, I appreciate you, you all watching my video. Have a good day.